Good morning. Morris, Brandon, faculty, staff, students. Mr. Hudson, good morning, sir. How are you? Doing great, Mr. Bland. How are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. It is Tuesday, January 26th. We have some face-to-face -face learners. We have some virtual learners. We have some face-to-face -face with virtual learners, but we are here. It is a beautiful Tuesday and let's get started. All right, so as always, boys and girls, whether you are at home or at school, place your hand over your heart and let's see who we have today. Um, my name is Rook and I'm going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome job, Rook. Great work. Keep those Pledge of Allegiance coming in because we're going to be doing announcements for another week or so, right, Mr. Hudson? That's right. All right. And it's January 26th. We are almost at the end of the first month of 2021. I cannot believe that. But this day in history, in 1905, the world's largest diamond, yes, the Cullinan diamond, it was called, it was found in South Africa. And it was well over 3,000 carats and geez, well over a pound. Can you imagine mm. a diamond that is just a pound? Hmm. Make a good ring, wouldn't it? <laughs> what? It's a serious ring right there. <laughs> or lots of different rings. It's also National Green Juice Day. I love some green juice, maybe with a little bit of spinach, some kale, put a little fruit in there. I love it. It's Peanut Brittle Day, the opposite of Green Juice Day, right? Got sugar, right. peanuts, caramel, but hey, we love that as well. This day in 1988, the Phantom of the Opera debuted. Can you believe that? January 26, 1988. Big day in history. All right, so as we round out our month of risk takers today, we talk about Cesar Chavez, an American union leader, labor organizer, and Latino American civil rights activist. When he was young, Chavez and his family toiled in the fields as migrant farm workers, devoting his life to improving treatment, pay, and working conditions for farm workers. He co-founded the United Farm Workers Union. We rely so much on our farm workers and everybody who works on farms to get their food to us. Today, we salute you, Mr. Chavez. So as we continue with our SEL moment, focusing on self-management on this terrific Tuesday, our SEL standard is understands and demonstrates how to use coping skills to persevere through challenges and or conflict with optimism, determination, and resilience. We work, we get it done, we fight through it, and we do it with a smile. That is our standard for today. So looking at our SEL morning motivator, have courage enough to accept what you cannot change, but yet courageous enough to stand up and fight for what you can. So that is our quote. This week in SEL in your classroom, you are reviewing routines and learning some new ones. It takes courage to learn new ways of doing things, what is one strategy you will use to show courage even when learning gets hard? Do you breathe or use positive self-talk to keep yourself going? And so as we look at that quote, just remember that quote throughout the week. Have enough courage to accept what you cannot change. So if you know that you can't change it, you accept it and you deal with it, but yet courageous enough to stand up and fight for what you can. And a lot of times that means we have to change some things about ourselves. When we find out there's something that we need to improve on or get better at and work on and become a little bit more diligent and focus on those things to make ourselves better, we jump on top of that. We do the best we can and do everything that we can do to change and grow in the areas we need to grow. So how do you feel today on this second day of what, either virtual learning at home or learning in the building with your classmates. Our closing thought for today, today our competency focus is self-management. Yesterday we used mindful breathing to help with our self-awareness. Today let's use positive self-talk again. 
Sometimes when we're afraid to try new things, it is helpful to tell ourselves encouraging words like, I can do this, or I believe in myself. Let's practice. Close your eyes and say something kind to yourself. All right. That's between you and yourself, but I hope you said something really nice about you because you are a great person. You're fabulous. You're dynamic. You're a wonderful Brandon B. Keep up the good work. Joke of the day, Mr. Bland, why were the teacher's eyes crossed? Why did the teacher have crossed eyes? Why were their eyes crossed? I don't know, Mr. Hudson. Because he couldn't control his pupils. <laughs> we don't have that problem here. All our students are great. Great. At least day one they were. <laughs> All right, we got five birthdays today and tomorrow. We've got LJ, Emma, Jack Hutchinson, Ollie Clevenger, and Jeremiah. Happy birthday, boys and girls, today and Asynchronous Wednesday. Happy birthday. All right, that's all we have for today. We are going to continue to work hard for you, our students. Have a great day virtually learning or in person. You guys did awesome yesterday. Our virtual students in K2 joined the new classes. Our three, five students are managing with the in-person schedule, but in a virtual setting. Just a few more days of that. And we are so happy that many of our students are back. Mr. Hudson? It was great seeing everyone yesterday and we look forward to having a terrific Tuesday with everyone. Have a great day.